This is part 104 of ASP.NET Core tutorial. In this video, we'll understand what external identity providers are and then in our upcoming videos, we'll discuss using these external identity providers like Facebook, Google, Twitter, Microsoft, etc. to authenticate users and log them into our ASP.NET Core application. Most applications usually have a registration page that looks like this and then the users register with our application by providing their email and password. We then use this local username and password to authenticate who the user is and sign him or her into our application. However, we do not have to always rely on a local username and password that is registered with our application. Most people these days have user accounts already created with third-party applications like Google, Microsoft, Facebook, Twitter, etc. So why do these users have to create yet another account with our application? It's not a great user experience to ask the user to create yet another user account just to log into our application. We want to reuse their existing user account with Facebook, Google, Microsoft, Twitter, etc. We trust these third-party applications and use them to authenticate and identify who the user is. So for this reason, these third-party applications are commonly called trusted identity providers. To be more accurate, we call them trusted external identity providers as these third-party applications are external to our own application. Windows authentication can also be used as an external identity provider. In this video, and in our upcoming videos, we'll discuss integrating these external identity providers in our ASP.NET Core web application. Allowing users to reuse their existing accounts to log into our application benefits end users from having to remember yet another username and password. It also benefits us as application developers as we no longer have to store and maintain the highly sensitive information such as the username and password in our own application database. It's now the responsibility of the external authentication provider such as Facebook or Google for example. ASP.NET Core has built-in support for integrating these external authentication providers. Integrating these external authentication providers follows a similar pattern. So if we understand how to integrate one of the external authentication providers, implementing others is not that different. In addition to using these external authentication providers, most applications these days support two-factor or even three-factor authentication. We'll discuss implementing two-factor authentication in our upcoming videos. So there are different ways to authenticate and sign in a user, whether we are using a local username and password combination that is specific to our application, Windows login or one of these social logins, Facebook, Google, Microsoft, etc. These are all different ways of essentially authenticating the same user. We're just providing him or her different options to log into our application. When a given user logs in using these different authentication providers, what we do not want to do is end up creating multiple accounts for that same user. We have to associate these different ways of logging in to the same user account in our application. We'll discuss how to do this in our upcoming videos as we progress through this course. Now let's see how these external identity providers work. On our application login page, in addition to having a section that allows us to log into our application using a local account that is by providing email and password, we also have these external identity provider buttons, Google, Microsoft, Facebook. For example, now if we click on sign in with Google button, at that point our application redirects the user to Google sign in page. Here the user provides his or her Google login credentials. Upon a successful login, Google will then send the user back to our application where a pre-configured callback function is executed. The code in this callback function checks the identity received from the external identity provider, in this case Google, and then finally sign the user into our application. We'll see all this in action in our upcoming videos. 
to use an external identity provider like Google, we have to first register our application with Google. Upon successful registration, we'll be provided with client ID and client secret. We need these to use Google authentication. So in our next video, we'll discuss registering our ASP.NET Core web application with Google. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening.